Asian Food Fest this year. It was a great turnout, it's been a great day. Uh, so we're gonna go around to some of the vendors and show you what to expect for next year. We're at Wheat Craft Barbecue, our featured vendor from Asian Food Fest this year. Uh, their chef Tobias is gonna show you their nine spice beef stew over noodles. It's delicious. At Wheat, we kind of like uh, trying to uh, play around with like different kind of like spices and stews and different kind of like technique of cooking. So we created this kind of nice spice beef. Uh, it's beef uh, charred and kind of like great beef biscuit that we kind of like uh, cook for a really long time to create a kind of create uh, the awesome textures. Uh, it's very popular in here, especially for the cold weather. And it's simply it's a charred and braised with brisket it's in own juice and its own fat so it'll be kind of like of course it'll be delicious so especially the complexity of like the combination of different, different spices we wrapped up from eight to nine spices it's awesome Filipino food. Mafi, who's cooking behind me, is a local chef who's uh, trying to open a, a new restaurant soon, so we're getting a great preview here at Asian Food Fest today. Hey guys, Mafi from uh, Mafi's Barbecue and here at Asian Food Fest. I'm making some sisig right here. It is a sauteed head cheese, cooked three times. Um, I braise it, roast it, then pick it up with saute. It's a very restaurant food in the Philippines, like we don't make it usually in home because a lot of prep to do, but it's very delicious. Go solve your beer and it's one of those things where you eat with rice that is good with when you drink so it's pretty awesome come check it out we've got some egg we got some rice i'm gonna give it a try delicious <laughs> And uh, chicken. We have hamburgers and it's really good. Salad right here, along with some sticky rice, uh, some fried chicken. You can check it out. Mmm, spicy and really great. also serving up some other authentic dishes such as their sticky rice um, which is really good has has a pork and mushroom sauce on top with cilantro delicious um, and they've also got a huge uh, authentic menu from Malaysia and China so Yvonne's gonna tell you a little bit about that. We use the roast pork and then the mushroom to make it into the sauce and then when we fry the rice we put like the minced shrimp in it and then on top of it, we garnish with, with like shredded eggs and then the fried shallots. We, sh we fried our own shallots and then like scallion and the cilantro. Awesome! Mm -hmm. Let me try it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sticky! Yeah, <laughs> Sticky! Mm. How's it taste? That is really flavorful. Perfect for a cold day. <laughs> yeah. Really good. You can't have Asian Food Fest without Chinese food. So here to represent China is Ya Kamin. And uh, you know Chinese people love their noodles, so they've got a great dish called Dan Dan Noodles uh, that Vicky from Ya Kamin is going to tell you about. Vicky from Ya Kamin Noodle House, and um, uh, we're located in Oakley on Madison Road. I'm going to put it together a Dan Dan Noodle for you now. So you get um, the rice noodles, and we um, get those from uh, Chicago. We put some a bed of vegetables on there. And then we do a homemade sauce, which is like a ground chicken. Um, it's a little bit sweet, 
that's a little bit spicy. Um, I kind of equate it to like a um, Chinese um, chili spaghetti or Chinese three-way, and it's a great meal for some cool day like today. It's like a comfort food. So hopefully you'll come and try it. Continuing with our theme of authentic Asian food, we have Maki Express, which uh, is serving up this really authentic Japanese dish, super popular in Japan, called takoyaki. So takoyaki is a fried octopus ball. They cover it in a sweet sauce and a spicy mayo sauce, uh, sprinkle some seaweed flakes and some dried tuna shavings, and then you just eat it like that. It's really good. Um, they're trying to make it more popular over here in the U.S., get more people exposed to it. This is called bánh xèo. Uh, it's called the sizzling crepe. Uh, it's a cross between a crepe and an omelet, okay? But there's no egg in it, okay? Uh, the, 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 the batter is, um, is uh, this, you know, they put a little turmeric uh, flavor in it. And it's sauteed with uh, pork, shrimp, and uh, green onions, and um, bean sprout. It's uh, the, the most popular uh, dish here. Uh, we've been we've been dying here because of the request, and as you can see, the line is like endless. So we're about to wind down, and Asian Food Fest is coming to an end. But I hope you enjoyed our journey through some of the different food booths that we had to offer. I had a great time. I think everybody else had a great time. So if you didn't get to come to Asian Food Fest this year, definitely stop by next year. Thanks, guys. <laughs>